One of my subscribers sent me a link to this picture and they wanted me to give my take on it. And it looks like he recently, it looks like this rapper recently got this tattoo. Um, but it also looks like he foolishly chose Easter Sunday as a day to reveal it to his followers, which is absolutely ridiculous. Now, personally, I'm never shocked at the disrespect that the lost world displays to my God. Okay. We understand that the world hates God. And with little Uzi Vert here, um, with him being a celebrity, Satan is not just his father. Satan has actively employed him and has given him the world. Okay. He's doing the will of his father, the devil. Now, what has always terrified me about people doing this, tattooing upside down crosses, things like that, is the fact that they know that God exists. Okay, They're not denying his existence. They're doing exactly what the Romans did to Jesus on the day that he was crucified. Matthew 26, 27. Then they spit in his face and struck him with their fists. Others even slapped him. And you know what else is terrifying? Revelation 1, 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and, and they also who pierced him, they also who pierced him. See, what most people don't understand is you are disrespecting a God that is slow to anger, long-suffering, patient, full of loving kindness. But the day is coming when all that will be taken away, and you will have to stand before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And if I asked Uzi Vert, a little Uzi Vert right now, if I asked him, are you going to keep that same energy on a day of judgment when you stand before him? He'd probably tell me, yeah, and laugh about it and joke about it. But we all know that that's a lie. OK, now I remember back in middle school. OK, this this kid, um, there was a kid that was a class bully. He was a, he was a much bigger kid. Uh, he had been held back a couple grades. So he was older and bigger than everyone else. Now, he ended up getting suspended for fighting someone else. Um, and while he was gone, one of my friends, one of my closest friends at the time, began bad talking and talking, talking bad about him, All right? Well, the bully's sister heard of it and she told her brother what my friend had been saying about him. And he relayed a message back through his sister. And this message was, when I get back, I want you to say it to my face. When I get back to school, everything you've been saying, say it to my face. Uh, and his sister told my friend what her brother said. And my friend, I remember he laughed about it and told the bully's sister that he couldn't wait to fight her brother when he got back to school. And so now I'm thinking that my friend is, I'm thinking he's tough, right? And I can't, I'm, he's got me fooled. And I can't wait for the fight to happen. We're all excited. We can't wait for the bully to get back so we can see a fight. So a week later, we're all on the basketball court playing basketball during lunch. And then all of a sudden, somebody points and says, look, he's back. He's back. And we all look. And the bully is walking straight for my friend. And he's saying, say it to my face. Say it to my face. Just like that. And so I'm thinking, I step back and I'm thinking, oh, man, it's about to be fight. It's about to go down. All right. Everybody's everybody's excited about the fight. And I look over at my friend and he's standing there frozen. I mean, absolutely terrified. His mouth is open, wide open. He's frozen stiff, can't move. And I look over and I, I see the bully get closer and closer. And he gets right to my friend's face. And he says, say it to my face. And my friend is just sitting there. Uh, 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 uh. And then I look down at his feet and he's peeing on himself. He's peeing on himself. I tell that story because that's a depiction of what it would be like for people like little Uzi Vert on the day of judgment. You can only disrespect my God in that way because my God is a benevolent God who is slow to anger and abounding in mercy. But the day is coming when this rapper will have to stand before the bully of all bullies, okay? And you peeing on yourself will not stop the justice and wrath of God. Now, I'm joking, but you understand what I'm saying. These people don't understand who they are disrespecting. Okay, but the fact that they will tat do things like tattoo upside down crosses on their tongues, on their faces, it reveals something. Okay, and it's almost as if if you believe, if you'll go to that extent to disrespect God, then you must also believe what the Bible says about this God. And so this is why Satan is the, the chief of all liars, um, because he gets you to believe that there is no threat, that everything's OK. It'll all be OK in the same way that he lied to Eve in the garden. Okay? And so it terrifies me. It terrifies me much more than it angers me when I see things like this, because they have absolutely no idea what's coming. We must warn men. We must tell men. That God all day long extends out His hand to a disobedient, obstinate people. But at the same time, the wrath of God comes upon the world. 
Because God is a righteous, holy God. Have you not read the book of Revelation? This is not just Old Testament teaching. That the wrath of God will come in such a way that men will cry out, the great captains and leaders of this world will cry out that the rocks fall upon them to hide them from the wrath of the Lamb. The wrath of God. Well, I just don't believe that. Well, just what you believe doesn't really matter. What does Scripture teach? There is the wrath of God, and it is the result of Him being righteous and holy and even loving and good. Can God be loving and not move against wickedness? No. Can God be good and be apathetic towards evil? Absolutely not. God will judge men. He will.